Welcome to Sleep Hygiene, a short video about getting a good night's sleep. This video teaser is sponsored by Your Plan for Health and The Ohio State University Employee Assistance Program, or EAP. Have you ever said to yourself, I need more sleep? Many of us have. Did you know that it's important to get at least four hours of uninterrupted sleep each night? Otherwise, our brains are not functioning at their highest level. Lack of enough sleep can impair concentration and focus, alertness and reasoning, and ability to problem solve. So getting seven to eight hours of sleep is ideal. Let's now turn to some ways to promote healthy sleep patterns. Eating heavily late in the evening can interrupt your ability to fall asleep due to the rise in metabolism, circulation, and hormones. However, eating a light protein snack before bedtime may help you fall asleep. Some people believe drinking alcoholic beverages helps them to sleep. One drink might help you relax, but excessive drinking interferes with the REM or rapid eye movement dream stage of sleep. We need this stage of sleep to feel rested upon awakening. Getting regular exercise can help with sleep onset. However, exercising strenuously late in the evening can disrupt your ability to fall asleep because exercise stimulates your circulation, metabolism, and hormones. You may want to try exercising in the morning or at an earlier time of day. This may help you to fall asleep at a regular bedtime. Drinking tart cherry juice may be a better choice than consuming alcoholic beverages before bedtime because it has melatonin in it. Melatonin is a natural occurring hormone in our brains and is produced when we are in dark environments. This is why you may get sleepy in theaters or other dark places. When your eyes see darkness, it signals to your brain to release melatonin. Some healthcare providers recommend the use of it because it is shown to help regulate sleep patterns and is available over the counter. Caffeine, on the other hand, can interrupt sleep patterns even if it is consumed in the morning or afternoon. People vary in their sensitivity to caffeine, and in general, it is not recommended to drink caffeine beverages in the evening. This includes chocolate or other foods that contain caffeine. Try also to avoid other stimulants such as nicotine, which can increase your blood pressure and pulse. If you like to nap occasionally, that's fine. There's more evidence to suggest that taking a nap will help you feel rejuvenated. However, try to limit the nap to 20 to 30 minutes to simply refresh yourself. Deep sleep naps can leave you feeling worse than before and can further disrupt the sleep cycle. Next are some things you can do to promote healthy sleep cycles. Try to go to sleep and get up at the same time each day. For example, try going to sleep at 11 p.m. and get up in the morning at 6 a.m. This can limit the amount of time you spend in bed trying to sleep and can help reestablish a normal sleep cycle. Establishing a nighttime ritual is important because it prepares your body and mind for sleep. Try turning the lights down an hour before bedtime, reading, taking a bath, or doing light activities. Research has shown that sleeping in a dark, cool, quiet place can help you sleep. The darkness signals your brain to produce melatonin, which helps to promote sleep, and our bodies seem to sleep better in cooler temperatures. That's why taking a warm bath or shower can be helpful because the warm water changes our skin temperature to warm, then cools off, making us feel sleepy. Try to keep your bedroom at a cooler temperature as well. This promotes the onset of sleep. Self-talk can also help. Try repeating key words and phrases silently to yourself when your head hits the pillow. Some people use guided meditation or other meditation exercises to help them fall asleep. You can also try a short gratitude list before you go to bed. You can also try using sounds as a focus of mindfulness. Mindfulness is about paying attention in the present moment without judging anything. Mindfulness exercises can help you to stay in the present moment without judging the sounds. You can use a fan or other white noise sounds that are soothing to you. The use of relaxation exercises or focused breathing exercises can also be beneficial for sleep onset. Try counting down slowly and silently from 10 down to one, then repeat. Try to use your bedroom for sleep and sex only. 
Avoid watching TV or using your cell phone or laptop in the bedroom. This behavior creates an association that the bedroom is for wakefulness. This light can also suppress the melatonin production in your brain. These light reduction tips can lead to a positive association that your bedroom is used for sleep or sex. If you have trouble falling asleep after 10 to 20 minutes, get up and leave the bedroom to do something relaxing. Use the sleep tips I talked about earlier or listen to a relaxing app. For example, one that has quiet ocean sounds or anything you find soothing, relaxing, or non-stimulating. Then return to bed when you're feeling sleepy. Lastly, be patient with yourself. When your body is tired enough, you will fall asleep. So, good night and sleep tight. If you are interested in learning more about these tips and all the EAP has to offer, please contact us via phone or email. A good night's sleep can make all the difference in the world.